If you have been on TikTok for a while, Yes, I'm a champion bed rotter and use mind numbing apps. Anyway, if you use the Chinese communist spying app like I do, then you may have come across this guy. No! I'm sorry. No! Why are we still here? Or maybe memes of this guy. This poor screaming or crying guy who can't seem to catch a break, his name is Louis Saunderson, and I dub him the saddest man on TikTok. Basically taking that title from that one fat guy that dances to the chica dance every day till he gets a girlfriend. I thought my jokes were bad. Louis is an actor from England who makes TikTok videos that showcases his acting performance and skill. And that's cool. Show off your talents if you know what I mean. Anyway, I just want to talk about him because I find his sad videos kind of funny. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so first off, every video he ever does is him in anguish. Not a single time I can see this guy smiling in his videos. Or at least in a performance where he has to smile and be happy. No, it has to be something tragic or sad. Like, is sadness this man's only emotion? I mean, he's British, so... The emotions this man has isn't joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear. It's sadness, despair, depression, hopelessness, and crash out. Where do you stay at? I stay at Parkway Garden Homes, also known as Obla. It is an apartment complex located on the south side of Chicago, Illinois. Another one I find amusing is the absolutely insane scenarios this man is in, or has to act in. Aren't these titles and scenarios a little bit too specific, Unc? Good morning, Glenn! Like, imagine he gets into the same exact scenario in real life. Like, what then? I mean, would you still cry? The scenarios are either death of a child, death of a relative, being stuck somewhere, cheating, death, death, and even more death. Whoever this man's op is, they're winning. His overacting is just cherry on top. I know these are depressing scenarios and concepts, but dude, you're drooling and crying at the same time, and is about to crash out any second. If I lie here, if <laughs> Nobody admits anything that I've done! He keeps on doing that, what the fuck? <laughs> Dear God, what? <laughs> No, I give you everything I've got to give you! I give you your life! Do you know those video compilations with titles like The Best Acting of All Time or Oscar Worthy Acting? What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? And the so-called acting is just the actor screaming or shouting. Just because you're good at screaming doesn't automatically make you a good actor. Sadness and anger is one of the most hard to pull raw emotions, especially when you're acting or playing a part. But sadness and anger isn't the only emotion you can showcase to prove you're a good actor. There's some performances out there where the actor didn't shed a tear or raise their voice. Now, I'm not saying Lewis is bad at acting, I mean, there are some videos where I genuinely care about him or genuinely feel bad for. I am in pain! I don't even want to talk to you. You did this! You destroyed our marriage! How could you do it? After everything we have been through, Everything we have fought for. All I'm saying is, put on some happy vibes, man. Come on. 
So I checked on Lewis's IMDB page and uh, his run is, how do I explain this in rapping terms? Let's just say he's underground. He starred in a movie called <laughs> Risen. <laughs> The, the Risen Possession and a few other indie stuff which you can guys check out. Look man, you're a good actor. I can't for the love of me ever cry and scream to the point where my spit is flying all around the place in front of a camera. All I'm saying is, can we have at least a happy scenario for once? Like greeting my newborn daughter in the world or teaching my son how to fish for the first time. You're so sad that your profile pic is literally you crying. Like, come on. Saigon. Shit. I'm still only in Saigon. <laughs>